So how is Business 360 practically applied in our investment research? So you can think of Business 360 as having three dimensions, avoid, embrace, engage. Now avoid is the piece where we're seeking not to do harm in the world. So this is things like weaponry, destruction of life, or abortion, or tobacco, or alcohol. We don't want to be profiting from certain things, and so we want to ensure that we create a universe, an investable universe of companies that is not profiting from value extraction, from addiction, from destruction of life. We do that by creating a composite score, which has a few different dimensions, but you can think of the most obvious ones as pass and fail. So does a company pass our screens and meet our values, or is it failing one of those criteria like alcohol or tobacco, for example? And we do this by using a combination of data sources from outside as well as our own in-house research and criteria. And our approach to data is to take a multi-vendor view so that we can get that mosaic view around the company. We never want to be relying on just one data source. So that's step one. Once we've established that investable universe, we don't just want to avoid harm, we want to create value for the world. And so this is where we come to the embrace piece. We're looking for excellent companies that are truly creating great good for the world. We're looking for secular growth themes, that's the performance part, and themes of human flourishing, that's the better world part. And so some examples of this are pediatric and orphan diseases, transportation 2.0, what is transportation going to look like in the future? How can we be investing in that now? Um, and cybersecurity. These are some examples of the big picture themes that we would look at. And then within those themes, we're looking for who is on the edge of innovation, on the frontier, and doing their work with excellence, operating lean. Lastly, we come to engage. So. Once we've established these long-term relationships with these companies, we have an opportunity as long-term shareholders to then speak into their strategy and operations and provide insights from our own experience as investors working with multiple companies. And so there's a few ways that we do that. The first is close partnerships with management teams. We want to be in relationship with the executives running the company and we constantly have them coming into the office. Another way that we do this is through active involvement in proxy voting. So this means that as decisions are being made about the daily operations of a company, whether it's executive compensation, shareholder rights, that we're actively looking into those issues and comparing them to our own values, our own criteria to ensure that the right approach is being taken. And lastly, advocacy and dialogue on key issues. So this is where we'd have an opportunity to encourage our companies to focus on creating that value for broader society. One example of this recently was with a tech company in our portfolio. So this company is a data privacy company and they're providing a much needed service to society in a world that's becoming increasingly digital and increasingly subject to cybersecurity attacks and violations of data privacy. They were recently involved in signing a petition that didn't align with our value of the sanctity of life at all stages. And so we reached out to them to start a conversation and share our views on this topic and why it's important to us. And not only did they take it back to their CEO, but they took it back to their board. And we shared with them are concerned that they focus on if they are going to make statements on certain issues or topics in the world today, that they focus on issues that are aligned with their business. So issues like data privacy that are going to contribute to their long-term business success and that aren't going to distract from the vital product and service that they are providing. And they really took this to heart and they made a commitment to us that this would not continue to be an activist area for them. And they affirmed that their own internal committee shared that view of the importance of focusing on these core issues around their business. So we were really encouraged by that opportunity as long-term investors to speak into that relationship and see a positive outcome come out of it.